All right, welcome to day two of the 24 videos in 24 days challenge, the Christmas calendar. The reason why we're doing this is very simple. I want you to find true freedom in 2024. I want you to find a business, build it, scale it to the point where you're happy with the business. You're proud of it. You're like, I wake up and I enjoy the business. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to scale it too big with too much pain in the wrong industry. And you're, if you're feeling dreaded, you're anxious and you're like, it would just be better to have a job at this point. And I want you to have freedom, time, location, financial freedom. But more importantly, I want you to build multiple streams of income. I call these seven revenue streams to seven figures. In order to explain these to you, I want to take you back a little bit because maybe you are now in a situation where you just, you're tired of going through every single year the same. This year you said you were going to do a massive changes in your life, maybe in your health, wealth, relationships, but more, most importantly, inside you just wanted to feel like you're progressing. And so because of that, life would be exciting. And here you are, it's 2023 and maybe it's not. Maybe you don't wake, wake up exciting. Maybe you don't feel like this is the year that finally took you to where you wanna be. And yes, it's not as bad as last year, but you know there's more. You know that there's a bigger purpose for you in this life. And the reason I tell you all of this is because at some point in your life, you're going to think about giving up. And it could be now, it could be a month from now, it could be three months from now, or it could have been that a year ago or three months ago, you thought about giving up. I'll tell you the day that I thought about giving up. I was sitting on the kitchen table, we were married, and I was sitting there, it had gotten to the point where I, I wanted to make money, I wanted to have freedom and I tried a few things and nothing seemed to work. And I got to the moment where I, I thought I just had to give up because I was putting my wife in a situation where I couldn't support her. And I didn't have a plan to give her to say, this is what we're gonna do, it's gonna be all right. And at that moment, the bills were piling up and I knew I just had to do something because you can't just ignore reality. At some point, you just gotta say, well, if, if, if it doesn't work, I need to get a job, meanwhile, to handle the financial side of things, to pay the bills, to take care of my wife, so I can go back out and build something greater for the long term. But you can't ignore reality. The situation you're in right now, maybe you have money, but no relationships. Maybe you have money, but no health. Or maybe you have health, but you don't have money. You can't ignore the pillar that is suffering right now. So how do you get out of it? Well, I'll tell you what I did. My wife saw that I was distressed, I was anxious and I was becoming depressed. And it got to the point where I had to get a job because she was paying for rent, she was paying for food and everything. And so I had to apply for a job. This was the first time in a couple of years I had to apply for a job. And it was Sunday night, my job interview with the first uh, position company was on Monday morning. And the thought of me going back to something after a couple of years of trying and making a little bit of money and then failing. It was the worst feeling in my life because I just, I thought I was onto something and now I had to take four step backs. What felt like a hundred step backs to square one but in the hole. And I broke down and I was crying because I didn't want to give up. And I remember my wife, she saw what it truly meant to me because before it was, it was kind of like, okay, you want to make money, you want to have a business, you want to have freedom. That's okay, I guess. Like, it's okay to have goals. But at the same, when she saw that I was crying my eyes, uh, my eyes out, she was like, okay, this is truly important to him. And the fact of going back to a job, the thought of going back to a job is so devastating that he's crying and trying to find any reason not to have to. And at that moment, she said, you don't have to go to that interview. You, don't, you can cancel it, but you have to find something. You have to do something so that we can survive. And at that moment, I said, I'll figure it out. I'll do whatever it takes. And some of you, you haven't gone to the place of whatever it takes. You haven't been in a situation where the pain of not moving forward is greater than the pain and discomfort of progressing and facing challenges. But at that moment, it was for me. And then my wife got pregnant. I was, I was in a situation where I did not want to be a father that couldn't provide for my family. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the father who said, well, we can't buy diapers. We can't get you proper nutrition. We can't get you a good home. I was never gonna, like, it's okay for me not to become a millionaire for my own selfish 
you know, joy. But when it comes to my kids, I'll do whatever. I'll do, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. And I know a lot of you right now, you're in a situation where you're, you're okay doing almost whatever it takes, as long as it's ethical and legal and it's a good business, but you're not sure where to start. And the reason you're not sure where to start is number one, you wanna see the entire path. You wanna see 20 different steps, when in reality, maybe you only see two right now. The first thing is opening the business or, or the first thing is uploading that, that one video. But it's confusing and overwhelming because you don't see the rest of the steps. Okay, but how's that gonna make me money? And guess what? It's good to have a plan. You need to know how to make money, but you're not gonna see the entire path. And sometimes you're gonna have to go through very uncomfortable situations, but there's two types of discomfort, two types. The first one, I'll give you an example. I've been in multi-level marketing where I had to call my, my friends that I haven't seen in a long time. I felt like I was just reaching out to them, reconnecting to sell them something. For them, yes, to join my team, but it didn't feel good. And we could have built business together in a downline, but it didn't feel good. And deep down, I just pushed through because I thought it was discomfort. And it was, but it was, in my opinion, the wrong one. Because I was I was doing it inauthentically. Whereas now, if I cold message someone, or if I put out videos and talk about my business, I'm proud of what I'm doing. And if they don't wanna buy, you don't have to buy. But I'm not disturbing you. I'm just putting out great stuff there. I'm doing my best every single day. And clients come to me, customers come to me, leads come, they ask, how can I learn more? How can I download this thing? How can I pay you money? Please build my funnel for me. And it's very different. It's discomfort because I'm learning new things. When AI came here, I had to learn how to use it, how to become a prompt engineer. When I launched my first software, I had to understand how to deal with that side of things. That's also discomfort, but it's a good one. So the first thing is to identify good versus not so good businesses. What are some good businesses and list those out? Some that you're gonna say, I don't wanna do that. There's some where you go, that's a good one, but I'm not ready yet. That's okay. You don't have to be ready yet. You just know that that's something you wanna do. And guess what? In three years, five years, 10 years from now, you're not gonna have the same business. You're not gonna be in the same position as you are today. The question is, how do I go out and find freedom right now? How do I go out and design my dream life? How do I go and design my destiny? And God is the biggest designer, the greatest designer out there. He already designed you in a way where you have all the potential to become whoever you wanna be. You can build any, any type of business you want. If you wanna do a YouTube channel, great. An iPhone has 4K videos. AI can improve the audio for you. If you wanna have a freelancing business, which is the fastest way to the cash, then you just pick something like email marketing, video editing or websites or sales funnels. And you do that, which is valuable to customers and clients. And now the question becomes, how do you get those? Which we'll talk about in this video challenge, 24 videos in 24 days. I'm going to give you the blueprint, but I want you first to pick the business that you want to use. And I'll break down a couple of the seven streams uh, to seven figures because you can have multiple of these. So Pierce, personally, let's just start by the freelancing side. I build funnels. We build sales funnels, which is a sales process, like a fantasy word for websites that actually sell. It's not a brochure. And we build, we build multiple websites for um, businesses, one for selling a book, like landing pages essentially, one for selling the course, one for the homepage, one for the, the lead magnet, the ebook. And we build one website to sell one thing or get leads for one thing. And we build these for businesses. That's a done for you service that I have done with you where I do consulting. I have do it yourself where I sell courses. I have a, a marketplace for funnel templates. I have a funnel services uh, marketplace. I have a funnel software that we partner with high level and we created white label software where our users not only get high level, but to get all of our funnels and guess what the best part about this business is. Some are more active, but some are more passive. Right? So picking the right businesses. Some of these are more active, some are more passive, which means if I sell a code and software, I'm not personally trading time for money. Some of you think a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks is expensive because for you, it's 200 hours, 300 hours, a hundred hours of your time. If I buy something for a thousand bucks, that is 10 customers at 97 a month on my uh, software. It's not my time. If I have a team, a software, if I have digital templates, it is, leveraged media and resources. You see what I'm saying? You see how different that is versus a job? And that's why a job really provides you freedom because you can't create assets. And assets 
that generate income digitally provide you not only with financial freedom, but with location, time freedom as well. Then I have YouTube income. I have affiliate income from softwares that I use and recommend. And um, that becomes seven different revenue streams right there, right? And then you can add speaking gigs. You can add one-on-one -on -one co uh, coaching hours, one-on-one -on -one consulting days where you do workshop with companies. So a lot of ways you can make money, but there's one thing missing in order to do all of that, which is you having to become who you are so that you have the skills. Because you can sell the same skill to the, two different people, right? Would you agree? You could sell the same fitness coaching to a 16 year old who don't have any money right now, or a 60 year old who's a billionaire, but want his health back. Who do you think values the fitness coaching the most? You can sell sales funnels to a broke company, a startup, or to a multi-million dollar company with huge profit margins. Who do you think will pay you more? So hopefully this gets the ideas flowing. I'll see you again tomorrow for day three.